Thank you so much, Jerry. <laughs> Coming up, using artificial intelligence to bring down the high cost of higher education. We're introducing you to the company that is disrupting online and on-campus learning with advanced technology. That's next. Welcome back. The future of college. A company called Amasite looks to change higher education by using a unique cloud-based platform along with artificial intelligence. It helps students get real-world degrees through convenient and cost-effective classes online. Joining us right now, Amasite CEO Anne-Marie Sastry. Anne-Marie, great to see you. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. Tell us how you're using AI to, to, uh, in the coursework. We are using AI to personalize coursework. Right now, the average person has about six platforms open on your phone. Uh, Spotify picks your music. Amazon helps you decide what to buy. Uh, Facebook might deliver your news. But in college classes, the content is very stale. So what we do is take certain data about user behavior. Uh, we don't try to sell anybody anything. We don't use your data to sell anything. Uh, and deliver you information that's useful to you when you're taking a college course. So for example, if we notice a learner is doing well when they take assessments at 7 in the morning, we might send them a message uh, using a bot, using artificial intelligence and says, hey, you might want to crack a book at 7 a.m. You're doing well at this time. Uh, so delivering information that helps the experience be better and helps education be more effective. So this is an, an alternative to going to, to, to school. This is something to kind of amplify their experiences in college and in university. Great point. We're not trying to replace colleges and universities. We think nonprofits are vitally important and the American education system, higher education, is the envy of the world. We bring technology to them. So we partner with them mm -hmm. and bring them AI technology because universities are subject matter experts. but they're not software companies. We're a software company. What are you doing to help kids manage the costs? It's just so expensive these days to go to school. How this this is something we noticed when our daughter went off to college, and I think everybody notices you get hit in the pocketbook. Student debt now exceeds $1 trillion in the United States. Some years ago it exceeded that figure. Uh, in order to dismantle some of this cost curve, in order to sort of not see college tuition rising at multiples of inflation, we need to go online. It's much less expensive to manage these. If you can imagine if a buying platform like Amazon or Shopify had actual humans going through catalogs and saying, you might want to buy this or yes. suggest this person, you'd imagine how much that would cost. And so really higher education is on that track without AI under the hood. And, so and, we bring and that. it makes sense to use AI in, in learning. You have an engineering background. You sold your battery company to Dyson mm -hmm. uh, for $90 million. Is mm -hmm. that right? And, and, and so how did you transition into education? I was a um, uh, child of educators and I was a professor for 17 years at University of Michigan. I taught an online program, actually started an online graduate education program. And so I've always been interested in education and my family's always volunteered in that area as well. And uh, a few things came together uh, after I sold my company and I stayed for a while and tucked the business into the bigger company. But Americans, there are fewer Americans going to college the last three years running. Uh, the cost is out of control. The accessibility is low. Most people who go to college have to work when they're in college. And the time to graduation is now, the average is over four and a half years. So it's got to be made more convenient. And the way to do that is to use the same computational technologies that underpin the everyday commercial platforms. Can, can the have... schools use any of this technology to help kids once they're, they're there, for instance, making sure they graduate. You know, a lot of kids are going to school, taking out a lot of debt, and they're not graduating. What, how, yeah, how does God forbid personal responsibility play into that. And to dovetail with that, there's like a, there's a fact here uh, on the, the sheet that 60% of college learners change institutions. So does your app help those transitions, those students transitioning, make that more smoothly? All of the above. So if you look at personal responsibility, Google Calendar helps us a lot with personal responsibility. And, and certainly 60% of Americans change in college, that's the figure now. 40% take no transfer credits with them. Online is a solution because there's great transparency possible. It's very transparent what you're buying, what the product is, and where it transfers. But By the way, before you go, given you had this battery company and you were in the car business, mm -hmm. really, what do you think about all the electric cars out there and, and what's that? There's a real revolution going on in the car business right? Totally agree. And um, disruptors come along and we hope to disrupt higher ed. And um, just like disruptors <laughs> came along in uh, electric vehicles and batteries and electric machines and power electronics. But love, love it. we're excited to be a public company. We think that's a good fit with um, our public mission. And we're www.amosite.com. And if anybody has any questions, it's info at amosite.com. <laughs> Check out Amosite. Marie uh, and Reese Sastry, thank you so much. Thank and you great. very much. We'll be right back. Thank you.